Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a great one for you today. I've got a site here that was built with Divi 4. I just installed Divi 5 on it. We're at version 5.00 alpha 19. So it's an alpha version, it's not a beta or it's not the full release. So I wouldn't recommend you do this on your client sites or real sites. I've just got a production site here and we're going to see how well the migrator does. We'll take a quick look at the site before we migrate. Once you install Divi 5, it'll overwrite Divi 4. And as you can see, I've got some pages here. It's put it in backwards compatibility mode because it says there's modules here that need to be converted. Now let's have a look at our other pages here. It's a very simple site. It's one of the pre-built sites that you get with Divi that I think we migrated here using a plugin called WP Vivid. And I'll let you know a little something about that plugin in a minute as it's essential for backing up your site. And when you're doing something like this, yeah, we've got backwards compatibility on all these pages here. When you're doing an upgrade or anything like this, I can't stress how strongly you should back up your site just in case something goes a little wrong. So there we've got our site. It's all actually working in backwards compatibility mode, but we want it to be in full on DV5 mode. So we'll see how we get on. If I go back to my dashboard here, close out my theme there, go down to Divi, we got a Divi5 migrator. It's done the compatibility checks and it's given us the option to migrate this site to Divi5 Alpha. It's telling us we've got all these check marks on various things here. It says 23 modules are ready to be converted to Divi 5. Then it gives us a list of the modules here. That's fine. But like I say, before I do this, I'm going to back this site up. I've already actually got a backup of it, but if you don't back up your sites, you really need to. And there's a fantastic free plugin called WP Vivid right here. If I go to my plugins, this is for anybody that doesn't have a, a backup option. Hit the add plugin. And we're going to type the word WPVIVID in the search there. It'll come up with the plugin right there. I've already got mine activated and installed. You'd need to install and activate. And once you do, you'll have a little entry in your menu down here. I click on that. All you need to do is go to the first page here. Make sure you've got database and files selected. Hit backup now. Once you do that, depending on the size of your site, it'll just take a couple of minutes and make a backup. It'll appear down here. You can download a copy to your local desktop, which is always a great idea. And then if you do something and come back here and you can't actually, things aren't working, you can just hit the restore there and it'll restore it back to how it was when you backed it up. And the download to desktop is a great thing if it actually breaks the whole WordPress theme so you can't get to your dashboard. You can simply go in there, reinstall WordPress and just pull this back in. It'll bring it back to how it was. Okay, enough about backing up. Let's see if this is going to work for us today. I'm going to go back to Divi. I'm going to go to the Migrator once more. And... There's no other warnings that I've missed here. No, it's all good. Let's hit the migrate this site and I'll leave this running. It's got a little pop up here. Well, it's basically saying what I was saying before. This is an alpha version. Don't use it on production websites. Only test migration locally on a staging site, which is pretty honest of them and really is good advice. So I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. And like I said, I'm not going to pause the screen or anything because I know I've done this on a few sites. It doesn't take too long. Okay. Says it's done it. Gives you an option to restore the Divi 4 content if it doesn't work out for us. And we can run the Divi 5 compatibility check again if we need to. But seeing as it's done it, well, let's take a look at our site. I'm going to go to the home page. Okay, still running this in backwards compatibility mode. Let's get rid of this. Let's bring up an absolute new version of it. Yeah, it's still running it. It's loading. It seems to be loading slightly quicker, but it's still running it in compatibility mode, which is not what I expected after doing the upgrade. 
Looks like it's done this page perfectly. We haven't got that warning there. So this has all been converted to Divi 5. And the pages that you see that backwards compatibility mode simply means, yeah, here we are again, that there's a module somewhere on this page that hasn't quite been converted to Divi 5 yet. And like I say, we're still in the alpha version. So they were fairly honest about that. But yeah, I'd really like to see this working on all pages. Let's have a look at the content or contact, I should say. Yeah, we've got that problem here as well. So there's obviously a little module on here that's not working. This has been converted to Divi file. Let's look if we edit it with Divi. Yeah, it's got the nice Divi 5 interface going on here. Can't actually see any modules that are flagged there. If we exit again. Yeah, everything's working, but like I say, there's something on this page that hasn't converted. Let's just take another look at the home page. Roll down. Like I say, everything is actually displaying. There's no errors on the page. And that's, of course, because it's in compatibility mode. But that's really not the result I'd wanted at this point in time. I'd hoped it would have done the whole site perfectly. But it's obviously not going to. But we're getting closer. Like I say, it's an alpha version. They will release a beta version shortly. And then they'll release the full thing. My advice would be, yeah, play with it, test it. Do not use it for your client sites. I will not be using Divi 5 for my clients. Probably not even on the first release. Um, I'll probably wait until a few of the bugs have been ironed out a few months later with updates and that. But it's going to be phenomenal. So there we have it, guys. Not really the result I wanted today. But there's just an example of what's going to happen when you upgrade Divi 5 from Divi 4. Everything's still going to work. It's going to look nice. It will actually load a bit quicker. But some of the modules just simply aren't ready yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be doing a lot more on Divi 5 as it gets closer and closer to release which they've promised us will be this year sometime. And don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.